the farmer and his three sons. There once was a farmer who had three sons, and however much he wished for a daughter, he and his wife couldn't conceive one. The sons grew up working on the farm. As the years passed, the farmer became bitter towards his sons and hardly spoke to them, but instead worked them very hard. All their work made the farmer lots of money, and he became greedy. He decided to expand his farm. One morning, the oldest son ran to the farmer and said a huge crop circle had appeared overnight in one of the cornfields. The farmer, the mother and all the sons ran to the cornfield to take a look. When they arrived, they saw the giant crop circle and standing in the middle, a tall cloaked stranger standing in the centre of the field. He floated over to the farmer and spoke. This is an ancient and sacred burial ground. And if you choose to build further upon this soul earthling, I shall curse you and your family. With this, the clouds became dark and the rain poured and the stranger disappeared. The farmer chose to ignore the words of the stranger and forged ahead with his plans to create a larger industrial farm. But no sooner had the bulldozers arrived to start, lightning struck, and the farmer watched as his three sons turned into aliens. And as quickly as they had transformed, they then disappeared. The farmer and his wife collapsed in shock. Days, weeks, months passed. The farmer could not understand what had happened. His wife cried a river of tears until she had nothing left. The farmer decided to build a boat and then sail for 72 days until he reached an icy land. The farmer had bought with him his wedding ring, a knife, some food and water. He trekked across the icy expanse until it felt like he'd reached the end of the world. Eventually he reached the burning hot sun, but it was hot and terrible, so he ran away. He then found his way to the moon, but this was far too cold, awful and malicious. Again, he ran swiftly. Finally, he arrived at the stars, who were kind and good to him. Here, he rested and slept. When he awoke, lying next to him on the ground, wrapped in cloth, was a crystal. The farmer picked it up, and onwards he went. Until he reached a mountain, and carved into the ice was a glass castle. It was a steep and perilous climb. When he finally reached the door, he discovered it was locked shut. He knocked. There was no answer. Then he fought to unlock it with the crystal, but when he unwrapped the cloth, the crystal fell out and into the abyss. It worked. The door opened and a voice bellowed down the hallway. What have you come for? I've come to save my sons. They will return soon to recharge, but be warned as aliens they will prey upon your human flesh. In front of the farmer was a large table covered in pipes and large sockets. The farmer looked down confused at what to do. The lights flashed and the farmer ducked under the table. The farmer then heard screeching. The aliens had returned. They plugged themselves in and as they did, lightning struck. The aliens out of shells broke apart and the farmer jumped up and shouted, I am your father, I am sorry and I have come to take you home. With that, the curse was broken, and the alien returned to their human form. The farmer and his sons went joyfully home, and life was well and happy once more.